Hello everyone, it's Kent Jackson from Uniques and Antiques. I'm going to do the walkthrough for our August 4th and 5th Modern Design Auction. It is a two-day sale, about a thousand items, a little more. 576 on the first day, 400 and some on the second day. And if you bear with me, I'm going to walk up and down the aisles for about 20 minutes or so and we can see what there is. Obviously, we've packed a lot of merchandise into the uh, shelves and into the floors and it's stacked up and and arranged, but it's all going to sell on the 4th and 5th of August, 2020. It's an online only auction, which means that we're only selling to the internet through live auctioneers and invaluable. It's also um, available for uh, phone bidding on items that begin at least 300 and uh, absentee bids for any amount. You can just email us uh, what item you want to bid on and how much you want to go and we'll execute it for you. 25% buyer's premium through live auctioneers and invaluable, 20% in-house regardless of how you pay. And uh, last detail that you probably should know, there is an in-person preview on the 3rd of August. That's Monday, August 3rd from 10 to 6. So you can come in and take a look around so you know what you're bidding on. Uh, it's uh, always good to bid with uh, good feeling of what the condition is now that being said every one of these items we have in our catalog we've tried to take 10 15 sometimes 20 pictures of all the items and uh so you can see what the condition is so we usually start in this section of the room so here here is where we start uh lot number one and i'll try to give you an idea where day day two starts by the way day two are items that have 1000 or higher lot number you can see here's lot number one and two and let's go towards the back. Wicker is way hot right here. Look at these pair of amazing flower chairs with the iron bases. Plastic is hot. That's the Billy Bobby cart. Uh, look at that nice little group of art glass. There's Lundberg art glass. Now look at the size of this. Look at the size of this bowl right here. It's by John Kraus. And, uh, you know, sometimes people are like, oh, I can't tell how big it is in the pictures. Well, look, here it is on top of a credenza right there with a bench next to it. It's huge. Uh, let's go towards the back here, more Lundberg. You have some good Lucite. That's Russell Wright. This is Picasso. These guys were Hans de Jong. But moving back, I'm not going to talk about every single item, but there's a good uh, grouping of Italian glassware. You have uh, art glass. You have big groupings of art glass. Look at this great gold set right here. It's about a hundred and some pieces right there. A hundred and, um, what did we say it was? 117, 170 pieces of gold flatware. That's doing well in the pre-bidding. Uh, let's go this direction. Uh, Hans Wegner. There's a real nice Hans Wegner table underneath here. And then the Hans Wegner chair. Aldo Tora. More Hans Wegner. Look at this little chair or table right here. It could be a bench, but I think it's a table. It's got the reversible top. In the back, has some good artwork. Look at the size of that dog. Come in this direction. Bronze tables. Look at these amazing foo dog tables. Lot number 94. There's a pair of them like this. Super huge. Good pottery, ceramic ware. In the back, that's a great chair with the cables all the way around it. Now we're getting into some of this uh, violation of the square stuff. Well, first of all, let's talk about this Kirk right here. Super interesting Kirk sculpture. Very cool the way that goes, and it's kind of a perpetual kinetic sculpture. But in the back there, you can see that circle U. That's a George D'Amato. In the back, also above that, those squares that are kind of coming out from the wall. And I'm going to try to get back there a little bit closer so we can see how they, like, there are 3D sculptures. They're like kind of like wall sculptures. Here's another George D'Amato, the black one with the red top. I'm going to try to come through here. See, the, see how they... Very cool. So we have about 10 pieces by George D'Amato. He was a New York... Uh, uh, art director also did art in the late 80s and 90s kind of a postmodernist kind of guy he had a lot of uh by the way that piece on the back that that's a painting by george d'amato up above the podium here so he had that kind of postmodern styling let's come around this way 
we get this amazing table here, kind of the free, like stalactite table, stalagmite. Here's a nice uh, grouping of, look at the size of that coffee table. Looks way bigger in person than it does in the pictures. All right, let me come back down around through here. This direction, here's some nice, it's kind of stacked up. I'm not gonna be able to spend all the time in here. Lots of good chairs. You have Bertoya. Here's a nice Traeger. This is like 1275, so this is in the second day, but a brand new smoker right there. So the fact that we're online only means we have to sell everything in the catalog. So there's some items that normally we would sell in catalog, but now they're in the catalog. So just take it how it is. Lot number 317, look at these Aldo Tora cabinets. So there's a pair of them, about six feet tall, five feet wide bronze legs. Look at these nice pair of Tommy Parsinger lamps. 291 is the eight section Anna Castelli. This one shouldn't be on here. Let me pull that off. There's some Capron tables. There's a smaller one. There's a little bit larger one below it. There's a couple of these Martz lamps. Let me come through here. Look at this great statue hand chair springer style look at the good crane lamps there's that one there's another one that's bigger that's right here lot number 298 look at it right there this is all kind of like goat skin covered nightstands all right let me go down to this end right here and we'll back it up look all the way across the top Mart's lamps there's about seven of them. There's another one over there, eight. There's some good pottery, some good teakware. These are amazing bookshelves too, if Wicker is from Rattan or coming back as far as like desirability. Look at them, There's, they make a statement. They have great style to them. I'm gonna back up this way so you can see how they kind of angle. See, they go angle to the top, glass all the way down. Good five shelves. All right, backing around this way. These are amazing. Shelves right here, kind of well done. Some uh, nice dressers with American Modern with the uh, grass cloth bottoms. This is a nice chair here by Tom Dixon. Made out of old bike tubes. There it is, the, uh, the base. Let me come around here. I think once they finish there, come across the front here, don't we? 427. A lot of Ling Rosé right there. We had to flip those on top of each other. That's a Still Novo wall sconce. Set of chairs like this, lot 422, with the lions on it. There's a Aeron chair. Here is a pair of super nice, or make that a set of eight super nice chairs right here. Let me take a quick shot of these. Look at the back. They're all like enameled, like, I don't know, abalone on there or mother of pearl type. Look at that. Look at that inlay. They're all the way around. The front legs are like wood, but the backs of the chairs, you can't really get a great picture of it. And it's all, it's kind of like a car finish on the back. Amazing chairs. I don't think they were ever installed in a house. They were designed by the designer and then they just never got uh, placed anywhere. Zebra rug. Here's another amazing set of chairs. I think there's six of those with the bone. You see better pictures of them on our site. And look at this amazing table. There it is. Super long, like eight feet long approximately. Check check the actual dimensions on the uh, on the website and then it has a base like this kind of a trestle base and if you can see it has like this flex of like amber or gold in the uh, cracks all uh, kind of resin and the top is wood some kind of burled not even sure what type of wood it is it's unusual super thick very neat here's the other one of those chairs sets of and irons we walk down this aisle amazing wicker eames coffee table, Barney Jacobson, plastic is in, I keep saying that. This is already sold, so we're just waiting for the guy to come pick it up. 
Here's an Eames lounge chair by Herman Miller. Nice one of these chairs, kind of like a Ralph Lauren style one. Paul McCobb. You turn around this way. I'm not talking about every single thing, but as you can see, we go all the way to the ceiling. It's a good thing this is online only. We don't have to move it around. Now 465 is this amazing sliding door cabinet with drawers at the bottom. Come by and take a look at this stuff on Monday, August 3rd. You have the swan chairs, you have the hand chairs, you have the super huge lamps. Let me go into the lobby while I'm down here just so we can get that over with. Some good things in the lobby. So some of this stuff is in the second day. Sorry, I'm going a little bit out of order. This is all the beginning of the second day. The, the Ralph Lauren tables, the uh, Ralph Lauren bench, I should say. These um, Billy Haynes style cabinets right there. You think that's one thing right there. That's a nice little, nice little table, but look at the size of this shelf unit back here. It's like three sections of three all together. It's about nine feet long. And it comes down like this, and then it has a longer section at the bottom that's about 18 inches uh, deep. The top part's maybe 9 inches deep. Here's another one of those right there, all the way down. And then back this way, here's another one. So these, so this is all starting off the second day of the auction on the, on the fifth. The 1,000 lots. All right, moving back this direction, let's go back to where we were. If we're going to go out of order, I'll just do this front section right here. Amazing, uh, like Milo Bauman and Curtis Jair. This one is, uh, speaking of art, you should probably take a look at the art I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it. Look at the wall units. Here's some amazing um, pieces right here. First of all, this, this one lights up. It's very cool. Um, but it has, I'd like to do this on the video. There are these like kind of chain link curtains and they're lot number 411 or, or so. We're selling five different lots, but look at them. Amazing. Now you're gonna have to get your own hardware to install them, but we have like a bunch of sections of them. Definitely makes a statement. Amazing decorator mirror. That's 1252 on the second day. Let me do this front little section here. So you got all the big art going around this direction. That's a George D'Amato in the back. Fireplace tools, great little bar cards, enamel. This is a George D'Amato right here. This is one of the 10 pieces by George. Krennitz, some amazing uh, vintage posters. Jimi Hendrix, there's the design books. Here's a great plastic set right here. Um, the Olaf von Boer, lot 192. Then you have all the lamps that we have on them. George Nelson the clocks, potteries. It's an amazing, amazing depth to this auction. There's not, there's not really any um, kind of weak spots right here. I guess we don't have any George Nakashima. Um, this is Theodore Alexander. Look at this with the great kind of crackle gold finish. Amazing statement piece. This was a super expensive new. All right, so let me scan back this way. So as we come through, I'm sure if you preview, you'll see stuff the second time through that you didn't see the first time. Look, look at those Paul Jensen Z chairs. You have the uh, another George D'Amato back there with the uh, Zs back and forth. There's, oh, look at that chandelier across the top there. Didn't even notice that the first time through. All right, so look at that nice um, kind of splatter painting. Wall art, statement art, that's lot 497. We're selling a bunch of work chairs in one lot. There's four of them together. This is lot 1072. It is a large fire fender. It's probably like six feet around. Uh, behind that, you see there's like a Danish table. There's, uh, you can't even really see because everything's piled in front of it, like three layers, but all that nice American modern bedroom furniture. I don't know if we already went down this hallway, but we're going down it now. So you have great bar stools and uh, kind of decorator. That's a, these are like golf chairs, lot number 1040 something with the golf balls on top. 1053 is this Paul, or I guess the Pearsall Paul, Paul Evans style goop fireplace. Look at this great screw, uh, light up uh, mirror right there. 
All right, <laughs> nothing back there because that's all stuff we're winning that picked up. Look at this Bustamante, one of the last items in the first day. This is a Bustamante screen. It's got butterflies and and lions and birds. And here's got two sides that go onto it as well. Giraffes, great mirrors. All right, let me jump through here and we'll try to finish up the video. Here's a couple rows here. This is all the second day. This is lot 1130 or so. You got a great bar stools and case pieces. You have uh, Lucite. Great coffee tables. Pay attention to the second day because there's not junk in the second day. It's all good stuff all the way through. Look at this teak furniture, Danish. You have more Linne, Lin, Lin Rose, Rose right here, this stuff, the Italian, the table and chairs. All right. Good chandeliers. Look at that Italian mirror in the back there. This direction, Weinberg. Let's go this, this way. You have the Lane console table, more Let the furniture speak for itself. Great deco furniture. Look at those lamps. Bernard Roan, lot 1182. Look at the size of this mirror. It's hard to tell how big it is on, on the website, but you can see it's like, it's up to my arm here. End of the auction on the first, on the second day, the lot 1400s is all these shelf lots and all of these uh, individual items of smalls on the tables over here. So let me just walk through those so you can see what's gonna be the end of the August 5th auction. So let me see, where does that start? I think it starts over here. So 1372, you have all these items are individually cataloged. You have dance, you have alligators, you have more dance, you have paper tubes, you have bowling shirts or racing shirts. You have these great pair of um, kind of that's enamel and copper, and that's a nice little portrait plate. You have the miniature Bertoia chairs and plastic. This thing is amazing if you look at the website with it lit up. And look, there's our dinosaur. He's got a mask on like he should. Down here to the end. All right, so that's how, that, that's 1390-something. Then we come over here, 1396. The orange vases, the centerpieces, some nice, uh, you know, kind of, mid-century groupings you have ceiling fixtures you have good green lamps look at that cool porcelain dog right there i think it's italian you have all that all the way through here all right and then we go to the shelf lots and we end the auction with shelf lots and that's their george jensen some nice glass lots right here groupings you have um let me pull this out right here have some good shelf lots. It's kind of hard to get far enough away. All right, so chess set. Yeah, the Curtis Jarre grouping right there, style. You have the Weinberg style stuff. You have the enamelware, food dogs. Nice grouping of kind of green barware. That's Arabia. Sell that grouping right there. Teak wine rack. China sets. Look at this great, nice little group right there. A little hope statue to go with your love statues. Look at that good little clock back there too. People like to collect those. There's a nude um, plate. Looks like it's Italian or something. Moving down. Not usually finding nude porcelains. Moving down. You can see what it is. And then we end up the auction right there with those wall hangers there's some very cool stuff like those bowls are nambi and they're huge look how big they are that's my hand like 20 inches across yeah the cats you have the turtles more arabia look at these big orange uh dansk guys right there and more dansk wear in the back all right so that's about it that'll be all of the auction for both days august 4th and 5th and uh, I'm sure I missed some stuff, but this over here, this will all be August 11th. So look for a separate video for all that. Thanks for watching. This has been Kent Jackson from Uniques and Antiques. We'll see you at the auction. Bye-bye.